Hello everyone. I wanted to share my technique on how I season my cast iron pans because I find it actually works really well. I looked online quite a while looking for good techniques on how to season cast iron and I found a lot of information. Some was good, some was bad, but a lot of the good stuff was spread out over a lot of the different videos that I found and I wanted to make one video kind of consolidating all that information I found that was useful into one video. I have three cast iron pans. I've recently gotten into cast iron because one, it's really good to eat off of because it gives you iron into your food. Um, my wife is deficient in iron, so I wanted to cook with it and it'll help hopefully give her some iron back into her system. My stepmom sent me some cast iron pans a couple, maybe a year ago. We love them. And I recently got a new one because I was short on uh, cooking space and I wanted to be able to cook more stuff. Sometimes we're doing eggs and potatoes and bacon and I needed more pans so I got a new one. But the new ones, a lot of the new ones anyway, are very bumpy and uh, I don't like the texture on the inside of the pan. So I finally found a company called uh, Stargazer Cast Iron. They make a really nice cast iron pan. It's very smooth on the inside. It's very much like the antique ones, but made new. Uh, it's, it's a nice heavy weight, has a really nice sturdy handle. This handle is designed to actually not uh, make the heat come into the handle. So when you're cooking with it, the handle gets warm, but it's not really hot. If you're cooking at high heat, of course, it will be quite warm. But it's a really nice pan. It's not as good as these older these older pans that are antique. I wouldn't say these are antique, but they're certainly older than the new pan. This one is a Wagner Ware. It's really good shape, it has a little bit of warp to it, which a lot of the older pans you find are not gonna be perfectly flat, but they work really well for me. I got it, it had a little bit of rust on it, a little bit of wear and tear, but I've put a lot of work into it, trying to get it back into a really nice, usable, usable working condition and I'm really happy with where they are now. That's why I looked into the seasoning to find good methods to getting them put back into shape. So I just wanted to demonstrate how I seasoned my pans to get them into a really nice nonstick working order. I'll demonstrate with this uh, Stargazer. What's recommended is that you stick them into the oven at 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes and get it really nice and warm. And then you coat them with an oil, whether it's vegetable oil, canola oil, like the solid Crisco oil is very popular. That's like the old school method. I tried that for a lot of it. What I found works really well is the, this company called Crisby Puck. It's made specifically for seasoning cast iron and it doesn't have a crazy high smoke point, but it does work really well for the seasoning portion of the cast iron. It's, so it's soybean oil, beeswax, and palm oil kind of mixed into one. And it does a really nice job of giving your pans that nice black coating to where they look brand new again. So I really like this stuff. I think that's my favorite right now. So anyway, let's put our oven on at 200 degrees. And you just want to put it in the oven, let it heat up, and then you'll be able to put your oil on it and we'll get it seasoned. We'll do it. We'll do a nice little seasoning coat just to demonstrate how I do it. We're going to stick it in the oven upside down about 10 to 12, 10 to 30 minutes. And we'll be back here when it's ready. So our pan has been in the oven for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees. We want to get it out, coat it with some oil. I like to use this uh, blue shop towels. They are lint free and you can give your pan a nice coating and without getting lint in there because I guess lint can get baked into the oil and then cause your food to stick. We don't want that. Let's grab our pan. So our pan is nice and warm to touch. So I like to use this Crisby puck. It's a, it's kind of like a hockey puck. You just take it and uh, just kind of give your pan a nice coating. Yeah, it's hot. 
just kind of give your pan a coating. When I first started doing this, uh, when I didn't know anything about it, I would coat my pans. I would watch the videos on YouTube and they would tell me, just coat your pans with oil, wipe them and stick them in the oven for the, an hour. And I would do it and I would get my pan out of the oven and they would be very spotty and sticky. And I could not for the life of me figure out what was wrong. Finally, I stumbled on somebody who seemed to have a pretty good video on how to do it. And the biggest, bit of advice was to get it coated with oil and then wipe it off like you never wanted the oil on there in the first place. So get it nice and coated everywhere and then wipe it down really, really well, getting rid of any of the oil that you can wipe off because that's just going to be excess. The pan, once it's heated up and you put oil on it, it actually soaks into the pores of the metal and seals it up real nice. And then when you wipe it back off, you're wiping off the excess, leaving the oil that you want in the pan, in the pan. So for the interior cooking surface, I use the Crispy puck. And then for the outside, I'm going to actually just use a little bit of spray. So this is actually just a uh, canola oil. It's made by Lodge uh, cast iron. It's what they say to coat their pans with just for the sake of getting down into all this. Uh, this pan has a lot of writing and stuff on it. I'm just going to give it a couple sprays, wipe it down. And again, you want to coat the entire pan on the outside, the handles. too much. And it'll soak in. And then now we go back and we wipe it off like we never wanted it on. And I actually will use a new paper towel because our old one is already kind of saturated. So take it, wipe it, Again. Wipe it really, really well. Get all that oil off of there. Alrighty. So now that it's coated in oil, we want to cook it in the oven for an hour at 400 degrees. Online also, people say to use flaxseed oil. It has a very high smoke point. I tried it. I didn't notice that big of a difference, but supposedly it bonds really nicely to the metal. It supposedly works really well. I tried it. I've seasoned these a couple times with that and my food's still stuck. So I'm going to stick it in the oven and you want to make sure you stick it in the oven upside down. So if there is any drips, we wiped it pretty well, but if there is any drips, they come, they land, uh, they don't soak and pool in the bottom of the pan. You want to put a uh, thing of tin foil underneath it on a lower rack to collect any drippings. So let's put that in right now. So we'll put that in. We put that in for 400 degrees for one hour. We're going to let it cook for the hour and we're going to let it cool down in the oven until it's cold or just very, very slightly warm. So it's easily to, able to handle with your hands, but it's important not to bring it out of the oven until it has cooled down. And you want to do this process six times. If your pan is in dire need of seasoning, if it's just a touch up, you can do it once or twice and you're good. I have done these pans probably at least six times. And my, my nice cast iron ones, uh, my nice old cast iron pans, um, are, are looking really nicely and they perform really well. They have a really nice, really nice uh, coating on there. Nice and shiny and nice and uh, they cook really well. But again, if it's just a, if it's just a touch up, do once or twice. If it is a 
pan you're trying to restore back to good, do at least six times. And that's it. We'll see you back in two to three hours after that pan is nice and cool. So the pan is looking very nice, uh, not um, sticky or gummy. Looks very nice and seasoned. Let's try to cook something on it and see if it's uh, nice and non-stick. The first thing I want to do is to give this a nice little coat of olive oil. I'm going to turn this up. stove on to medium. We're going to let this pan heat up. I want it to heat up to a nice medium heat. When I put this olive oil on there, I want it to smoke. I only put it on the interior cooking surface portion of the pan just to let that olive oil kind of bake onto the pan. For some reason, when you cook with olive oil, put a little butter in your pan to cook, everything just is so slippery and nonstick, it's amazing. Right now it's heating up to a medium level. Okay, so our pan is pretty heated up. It feels like it's really hot. Now I'm gonna use the same lint-free towel. I'm gonna put just a little bit of olive oil on there. I want it to, when I put it in, it should be hot enough that it kind of bubbles and starts to smoke. So here it goes. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. I see some bubbles. It's smoking. I'm gonna turn down the heat actually to uh, medium low, in between low and medium low. I'm gonna cook an egg real quick. Kind of like what we did before, I'm gonna coat it and then I'm gonna go back in and kind of wipe off a lot of what I just put on. Olive oil, when combined with cooking with a little bit of butter, especially for eggs, it really creates a really nice non-stick surface. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool down a minute. It's a little too hot to cook some eggs on at the moment. So while this is cooling down, I'm gonna toast me up some pieces of bread. I'm gonna get my eggs out and get some cooking stuff ready so I can uh, cook up a little egg sandwich. Okay, I got my fixins ready. I'm gonna put my oil away over here. I am going to test to see if the pan is hot enough. Okay, it's doing, water's doing a little bit of dance. I might let it cool off a little too much, but it looks like it's all right. I'm gonna take a little bit of butter. I guess it's really important after you use the olive oil on the inside, you wanna coat your pan with a little bit of butter uh, to help this process. A little bit of butter. I'm gonna take my spatula. I like to use a metal spatula. I'm gonna take my spatula and just kind of scrape this butter around, get a nice even coating. Okay, now that's good. I'm gonna throw on an egg. Alrighty. So. Keep this egg a decent size for my sandwich. Now I'm going to leave it over easy just because I want to be able to show you how easy it is to cook with this. It's a really nice uh, non-stick surface. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I let my pan cool a little bit too much so I'm going to turn this back up to like a medium low. Okay I'm going to try to give this a little bit of a flip see how this is doing. See if it's sticking at all. Yeah, you can tell, look at that. I'm just barely even touching it. It's like so slippery. You can tell that handle's nice. I could touch it with my bare hand. It's not doing anything. It's not burning me. It's warm, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of a flip. I'm gonna put a little bit of turkey in there.
a little bit of cheese, a little bit of turkey. I usually have these once every few days. They're really good. Alrighty. My sandwich is done. I'm gonna turn off my stove top. I'm gonna let it cool down. I want it to clean it when it's warm, but not hot and not cold. I, I usually just kind of walk away and eat my food and come back when it's still a little bit warm. I give it a good cleaning and uh, it's super easy to clean. Love it. And I uh, hope you guys found this interesting so far. We'll see you back in a few just to clean this up. This pan is still hot, not hot, but warm and uh, easy. It should be easy to clean. I'm just gonna take my spatula I'm just gonna knock off some of the, the bigger portions of the what's we cooked leftover remnants here. For this, I'm gonna use regular paper towels just because I don't need to use my lint free ones. I'm just gonna wipe out this pan. Get rid of the crumbs. Want to give it a wipe. As you can see, it's pretty much ready to go, and that was just with a wipe of the paper towel. But the company that makes this pan called Stargazer, they recommend that you use a chain mail, a chain mail cleaner. It's just really little tiny links of metal. But um, this is what they recommend it to clean your cast iron. And they sell them on Amazon. I'll try to link to it. But uh, it's just, uh, I think they pretty much market it just for cleaning cast iron, but you just put it in your pan and you can just <coughs> give, it a, give it a scrub. If there was anything stuck in there, this would get rid of it. You don't wanna go crazy and scratch off your seasoning, but you just wanna get rid of any any food particulates that are stuck on there. Okay, and then let's give another wipe. So, before I kind of came up with this method and found this way of making it really non-stick, I would often have really stuck on food in there. And what I did to clean it was, when it was still warm, I would put a little hot water in it. You never want to put cold water in a hot pan. You don't want to warp it or crack it, but put some hot water in your pan, bring it to a boil in the pan, and when it's boiling and steaming and getting all simmering, you can take your spatula and kind of scrape off the food and then take it over to your sink, give it a, give it a scrub. I use a, like a little nylon brush. This works really well. It's, um, you just kind of give it a, a good scrubbing in the water and once you get it all nice and clean, bring it back over to the stove, wipe it off really, really well with some paper towels, get all the water off immediately. You don't want to leave any water on there. To be extra sure, put it on the stove top, turn it back up to medium and let it sit for about five minutes and let all the, any water that's on it evaporate off and then give it another coating of some uh, oil. So just for the sake of giving this one, it's already been oiled, but we're going to kind of get it ready for the next, the next cooking session. We'll take our olive oil and we're just gonna give it a nice little wipe down. Again, just the interior of this interior cooking portion. And then wipe it back off like we didn't want it in there in the first place. And our pan should be ready for the next time we wanna cook. We just Come in, turn it on, heat it up, throw some butter in it and cook and it's ready to go. I also wanted to cover, I bought these. They are made by Lodge. They're supposed to be cast iron um, scrapers to clean your skillets on the sink. I've used it when it was a little warm trying to scrape off any before I kind of found my method when I had stuck on food, but it kind of melted. So don't recommend these. I highly recommend 
the chain mail over the plastic scrubbers. So I hope you guys found this uh, informative, useful. Take it for what it is, just one guy's opinion. But uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed.